Hello, hello guys. How are we doing? Welcome to my first MW3 video where I'm going to be showing you the best graphic settings you can use on your PC to enhance the amount of FPS or frames per second you get, which will give you the edge over the people you're shooting against on MW3 multiplayer. Whilst doing this, I'm also going to maintain a decent level of quality so the game doesn't look crap. In short, you're going to get the max FPS with the best quality. So let's get into graphic settings, which is where you'll find it. First things first, you want to make sure that the screen refresh rate is automatically on the maximum refresh rate your monitor can get. If it's not on this, you need to go into Windows settings and change it manually. Uh, the next biggest setting I want to point out is NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is on and boost. This basically draws more out of your graphics card. And then Eco Mode, you want it to custom. And then you basically want off, off, and then custom frame rate limit on unlimited with focus mode at 100. Um, this is one of the probably the biggest ones here. You want to make sure this isn't capped whatsoever. You then want HDR off. Uh, and then that moves us into the quality. So here you want to set this to custom. Um, render resolution you want as 100, which should give you whatever your monitor is running on. You then also want dynamic resolution off and then upscaling and the sharpening. Now this is potentially the biggest thing you need to make sure you have on is Fidelity FX CAS. This will give you a decent amount of quality while maintaining a really efficient FPS count. You then want uh, to make sure this is all the way up to 100, so you just press the show less and then drag this all the way up. And then you want VRAM scale target at 90. This will utilize as much as your GPU as the game can and um, without limiting it quite so much. Uh, and then the, I'm literally not going to go down all these settings and read them out um, because there's a bloody lot. Um, but basically, you just want to pause the video at any point. Um, but basically, you want to make sure that everything is low or off in this texture sort of setting. Essentially, this thing down here is a really good gist of what you need to be looking at. Um, essentially, this is the available RAM you've got, and you want the game to be as small a bar as possible. So you can have a play with the settings, see what affects it um, considerably, and then basically, yeah, you want this these lines to be as slow as possible towards the left. Um, but the fast way of doing that is just making sure everything's either low or off. Um, so yeah, I'm scrolling down here. Feel free to pause and just double check. Let me do it a little bit slower for you guys. Just like so. There we are. The bottom one, water quality, you want wave wetness. That gives you the best chance of seeing people underwater. Not that there's too much water in these maps, but that's a uh, nice little addition there. And then view, you want to make sure that your field of view is... I mean, this isn't to the graphics, but you want to make sure this is an appropriate amount. Um, and then generally speaking, I think that sort of covers everything. You want to make sure motion blur and weapon motion blur are both off and the camera movement are all least, least, and then film grain is zero. Now, there's one tip which I do want to give you which will make the colors pop in your game, which a lot of people don't know about and people often miss when they do these settings videos, and it's in the interface. So within the interface, you have a color customization section here. So if you go into that, you want to make sure that, obviously you can play around with the colors of the team and the party and the enemies and things like that, but the more important bit is to make sure you change it from color, uh, the, the color filter to filter two rather than filter one or none. That'll make the colors, you can see here, these colors look a bit grayed out. Change it to filter two and they just pop a lot more. You then want to set this to both and then drag it all the way to 100 and 100 and it basically just increases the satur uh, saturation within the game, within the world you're playing and it will make enemies stand out a lot more. Um, and then the final thing, which I, uh, again, not a lot of people know about, um, you want to make sure that in your account and network, this dismemberment and gore effects are off. The reason for that is because when you have it on, there is extra assets in the game which will slow down your GPU um, or use more use more of your GPU, which will mean that your game can't process as many frames per second. So you want this off to give you that extra little bit of boost. Obviously, doing only one or two of these things won't make too much difference. It's having it all as a bundle together and applying all of these settings, which will make the biggest difference. Um, so yeah, that's it for this. I've got a controller settings video coming up in the short while. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments. And that'll do from me. Ciao for now.